Hey guys, welcome to Miguel and Michelle's Ranch. Today we're building an off-grid bathhouse. Uh, we already built a platform, stick around for the rest of it. We're gonna build a platform, walls, foundation, and everything. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Miguel and Michelle's Ranch. Um, so essentially what we're doing here today is an off-grid bathhouse. It's gonna include shower and toilet. Um, this is all reclaimed wood. So we're just gonna start you know, with the platform, as you can see that we're sitting on, and then start to do the walls and, and everything else from there. Yeah, this wood was uh, acquired from one of, my, one of my job sites back in the day. I think it was like a year ago. They were getting rid of this deck, uh, so I reclaimed it. I went over there, spent about six hours taking it apart, and we thought we were gonna use it for the deck of the off-grid homestead, but instead, we reclaimed it to build the bathhouse. There's still plenty of wood left. We're only gonna use it for the platform. Um, and then obviously, as you can see in the back, we got some materials. We got some two by fours. They were pretty affordable actually. All that, I think it was 32 of them. Yeah, for about yeah. $120. And that was including the nails that we bought, some blocks to put the platform on. Once this uh, platform is complete, we are going to continue with the walls. Finally get to show. <laughs> I mean, on the land, I mean.
Next one. Next one. Okay. These are gonna be the top and bottom plates of the front and back wall. And this is gonna be a lean to, so this is the front's gonna be eight foot, the back is gonna be seven foot. A lot of people, a lot of people at my job thought I was crazy when I went and reclaimed all this wood. <laughs> I bet now they're like, oh, that was a good idea. Let's go cut these babies. It's a corded circular saw. I have it attached to my trailer that has solar. And that's why I gotta take the wood over there to cut these babies. Originally, I thought it was pretty cool that I could get those pieces of equipment for like $40. But now in hindsight, you're like, hmm, I wish I would've, you know, Gotten battery power, you know? No. Can this we, is, can we this yeah. is okay. Do with what you have. All right, so the video kind of cut out when we put the ends of this wall, but as you can see here, we have put in all the studs. We're gonna do the jack studs and the header next. Um, you really don't have to because it's not a huge structure, but we're gonna do it just for practice for when we do the uh, cabin in the future. But that uh, first wall is up. We're gonna go take a break and have lunch and we'll be right back to work. See ya. While you guys weren't looking, and while Michelle was making lunch, I put the jack studs in and put two two by sixes up on the header. I nailed them on both sides, nailed the jack studs up the side as well and on the bottom. Um, we're gonna flip this this way so that we can build the other wall, the one that goes in the back. Uh, they Wow. <laughs> on the car. Yo, yeah. Listen, we like a guy on YouTube, his name is, what's his name? But he's the, the head of the Red Moose Ranch, and I like his style. He's a cool dude. Not sponsored video by him or anything, but check out his channel. He's a cool dude. Why don't you come over here and give us some help? You want to <laughs> hold that side of the board? Ah, it's okay. <laughs> you sit right there and enjoy the show. That's the kind of thing that he does.
right. All right, y'all. Look at that. Ta -da. Oh, All right, so now we got both of the walls. The bottom one is the April one, top one is the seven. We got the door frame, you know, all planned out. Now it's just a matter of setting it up and then, yeah, putting it to the foundation. It will be good to go. Here's the platform. Front wall goes there. Door over there. Back wall here. We have plenty of lumber left. We're going to do, that's, that's probably good enough for the side walls and some bracing walls. Racing uh, studs, I mean. Yeah. Yeah. See this one? This is where we're going to put it. So if you can imagine it, it's going to be right here. Those bushes got to go. So in this little walkway that we built to go that way, right there it's going to go. And then the water's going to drain this way. And then on both sides of the drainage, we're going to have plants. And those plants are gonna grow. They're gonna shade and obscure the bathhouse, so neighbors can't really tell. And we'll be right there. So we gotta first get rid of those. Let's do it. Guys, check out what we found about two feet deep in our trench. She's alive, look. Look at that big girl. Her name is Latrina, so we're gonna throw her. Ready? Did you hear her go, ah! <laughs> yeah, she was like, wee! <laughs> and then it hit the ground, I was like. I heard it Dang. hit the ground. So as you can see so far, we have a three by three basin of some sort. So here the water will trickle that way. And as it as it gathers here, it'll go down the slope and into all this area. Obviously, you know, use biodegradable soap and organic soap and shampoo and toothpaste and all those things because you wanna remain ecologically friendly and we got all those bags full of rocks over there that's how this is going to happen we're going to put down cloth and then rock on top uh staple the rock to uh, the cloth to the rocks on the tr the trench side fill it with dirt so that leaves a void in the middle for the water to travel to through the rocks here we're just going to leave the rocks exposed and the cloth off to the side so that the water as it comes down doesn't erode the sides into the into the soil into the rocks i'm sorry so stay tuned while we finish this up here we might finish this in the morning and but it'll all be in this video we're gonna have this finished we're gonna have the rocks in the cloth everything the platform on top the two walls and maybe a bracing wall so stick around it's gonna get interesting hopefully we don't find any more spiders
setting out the trench where the shower is going to be. Essentially what we got done is finished grading out the area. So we started out here at three feet. I want to make sure that the bubble is on the side closest to you and essentially we just went down all the way making sure that it is on a decline grade ensuring that that water will head down all the way over there. So now what we're going to do now that it's complete is lay down the fabric which is right there. We'll tamp it down, we'll lay down the fabric and then add all the rocks which is what he's unloading right now and then at that point depending on how far we get today since we have to go back to the city for some work is finishing the area here with the, the foundation of the bathhouse. So, here we go. Alright, so now I'm just going to cut out a big old square piece for this area. We're going to exceed each side of the square where the foundation of the bathhouse is going to go. About like two feet. And then make a straight line all the way down to the circle on that end. Let us know in the comments if you've already done a bathhouse and have constructed it in a different way. We'd love to see it, to hear more great ideas. we have the point where the shower is so if you can imagine the whole bathhouse here that's where the shower is the water obviously hits the gravel and it's already at an incline you guys saw with the level what's gonna happen the water hits here and it's gonna go down this trench put about four inches of gravel in the trench and then we fold it over the fabric on one side and then the other and then staple they're using the fabric staples and then at the very bottom, there's a circle that where most of the water will collect. So now we're gonna try to put the platform over this. But first we gotta put the uh, cinder block plat uh, platform footing. Um, we're gonna try to move that stuff by hand and see how that works. We put down 
four uh, half cinder blocks. So we use the these flat pavers to adjust the height. This is the 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 high side, so we only have one on that side. Uh, these three sides are identical, so we just needed two on each side. We already put the long two by fours on top to make sure that the they're level between each other, and we're ready to bring over the platform and plop it down. It all seems like a silly idea until it works. So you walk in, immediately step in the shower. Sink is right here. You can have like a nice stand of things. And then you walk around this little wall, it's gonna be a poopy right here. And it seems pretty, feels pretty solid. 